So a question I've been getting quite a bit in previous videos about sonar, specifically live scope, is what is the most affordable bundles of each kind of category or size of screen that you can get. So I'm just gonna walk through them. The, the minimum size screen that I've seen compatible with a Garmin Live Scope is your seven inch screen, your Echo Map 73 uh, SV. Actually, you might be able to use the 73 CV, which is your clear view, down view, so it doesn't have side imaging. So if you want something just for Live Scope and you just wanted a seven inch screen, the 73 series, whether it's the side view or clear view model, that's going to be your probably your cheapest option that you can find. It's great for a small John boat, kayak, canoe. Um, I'd personally recommend going a step just above it, which is the Echo Map 93 SV. It's got to be the hottest combo uh, with Live Scope like across the country, just because it's you know even though Live Scope is expensive whether it's the LVS32 transducer, which is the Gen 1 Live Scope, or the Gen 2 Live Scope, which is the LVS34 transducer, the Live Scope Plus. It, yeah, I get it, those are expensive, but when you pair it with the Echomap 93 SV, and a lot of times you can get that combo on sale. Um, typically, I've seen them on sale with the Live Scope LVS32 for like 15 to 1700 bucks. Um, you might be able to find them used for cheaper on Facebook Marketplace or Craigslist. Uh, but the 93 SV, I feel like, is a great in-between from spending too much money but still getting a reasonable size screen that you can actually see everything on. It, everything's not really condensed on it. It's, it's a good size screen. It's a touch screen. Um, it's compatible with your Garmin Force trolling motor if that's something that you want to get in the future. And... Uh, it's just an all-around great unit. I had that on my, I had three of them on my old boat for many years. Um, it's just a, it's a solid unit. If you want to jump into the 10-inch screens, the Echomap Ultras, don't get me wrong, they're a great screen, but I think there's cheaper options with the GPS Map family of units. The GPS Map 1022, I think is your cheapest option if you just want a screen for live scope. Um, I, I believe they're around 1100 to 1200 bucks brand new. I've seen them on Facebook Marketplace and Craigslist for under a thousand bucks, like $900. So there's definitely deals to be had in the secondary market of Facebook Marketplace and Craigslist. Um, if you wanted something that was compatible with a regular transducer, the GPS Map 1042 XSV is another great option. Both of these are 10 inch screens. There you have the dial system. Um, you're probably looking at the used market for these, honestly, because you could probably get both of these for under a thousand bucks, just the screens themselves, and then just go ahead and buy the live scope system. If you can find it on sale, great. Otherwise, you might have to wait around for the live scope to go on sale. Uh, the LVS32, I think, usually goes around goes on sale for like eleven hundred, twelve hundred bucks. So far this year and last year, the Live Scope Plus has not been on sale. I'm not sure if the LiveScope Plus is going to be on sale this fall or not. You'd think this is now going to be wrapping up the second year LiveScope Plus has been out. I would, I would guess that by the spring of 2025 you might see some discounts on the LiveScope Plus because that's two plus years of that LiveScope Plus being on the market. There might be some discounts that Garmin's willing to uh, give on the LiveScope Plus, but I, I don't have any answers. It's purely speculation. If you wanted to go up to the 12 inch screens, the GPS map, uh, I think it's the 1243 is a great option. Otherwise, the 1222 is probably the cheapest that you can get. Again, the 1022 and the 1222, the main difference between those units and basically all the other units, those units do not have sonar. So they don't have 2D sonar, down imaging, side view, none of that. Um, it's basically just a mapping system that you can connect through your ethernet cable to all your other GPS map systems. Or if you just wanted a 10 or 12 inch screen solely for live scope, the 1022 and 1222 are your cheapest options in that 10 inch and 12 inch screen category. Um, the 1242 XSV is very similar to the 1042 XSV. You know, that is sonar compatible. So you can hook up a regular GT56 or GT54 transducer Get your side view, your down view, 2D sonar on that. Um, those also come with, I believe, they're the US inland mapping, or you can select which Navionics mapping you want, I believe, on them. 
Um, the GPS map 1022 and 1222, it's just the base world map. So it, it's a very limited feature of those 1022, 1222. If you're just looking for live scope, great options. If you're trying to use that screen for something else, I would go to the 1042 or the 1242. Um, big screen options. We're talking 16 plus inch screens. The 8616, I've seen it on a lot of you know tournament guys' boats. It's a great screen, don't get me wrong. But it's hard to justify spending five to six grand on a 16 inch screen. Uh, NBT has come out. I think they have an 18 and a 22 inch screen. I think they're around half that price. I think like three grand, somewhere in there. So if you're really looking for a big screen that you want to have compatible with a live scope setup, NBT might be the way to go. Now one caveat with the NBT, I believe you have to have a GPS map 8600 series or better. So on my dash, I have a GPS map 8610 XSV. I believe you have to have the 8600 or the new 9000, I think it's the 9400 or 9600, whatever it is. Those units are compatible with your NBT. So that is one caveat if you're looking for a really big screen for your Garmin Live Scope. The cheapest option on the big screen is probably NBT 18, 22 inch screens. If you're brand new to Live Scope and you're just looking to get into this, a very quick recap. On the small side, 7 inch screen, the Echo Map 7.3 either the SV, which is side view, or the CV, clear view. Um, both those units are compatible with your Garmin Live Scope setup. If you got a kayak, canoe, small John boat, those would probably be really good options. A little bit better option, and what I would recommend for basically any category, whether it's the small boats, the kayaks, canoes, or if you got a smaller bass boat, uh, the Echo Map 93 SV or the 93 CV. It's a great price point for a good size screen. Um, that, in my opinion, doesn't break the bank, especially if you can get them on sale. So I highly recommend the Echo Map 93 SV with the live scope combination. If you're looking for the 10 or 12 inch screen, the 1022, 1222 is kind of your base model to get into that bigger screen setup. The 1042 XSV and the 1242 XSV are sonar compatible, so you can get 2D sonar, clear view, side view. And then if you're looking for big screen setups, yes, you could go with the 8616 that Garmin has. But I personally would look towards the NBT route of an 18 or 22 inch screen or what, however big you want it. The one caveat with the NBT setup, you have to have a Garmin unit that is, I guess, connectable to the NBT screens. So those are the screen size breakdowns and kind of the cheapest models that you need to use LiveScope. Uh, hopefully, you can get your LiveScope system as soon as you can and get it mounted on your boat so you can spend some time on the water to get used to it. Once you get used to it, it is a ton of fun. You're gonna catch a ton of fish. No, it does not catch the fish for you despite what a lot of people might say on social media. You do have to have to work at it. You do have to get used to what you're seeing on the screen, but once you kind of get it dialed in, it's a ton of fun. You're gonna put a lot of fish in your boat or your kayak or your canoe, whatever you're fishing out of. Good luck on the water this year. Let me know if you got any comments or questions. Post them down in the comment section below. We'll see you in the next one.